guys we're back here for more some more squad games uh, we're starting with uh, this with the XO, XO members and I am playing only we had some really fun games and these are some of the highlights now only is not an easy character in squads I'm playing with jungle shoes holy sandals cluster bomb as well as defib so I don't have teeth so I need uh, and that's why I need to be careful playing around the bush is always an advantage for you and uh, you'll see in this game why so we're just starting casually and uh, trying to get some better weapons and always focus on your positioning as always that's why you see me checking the map very often and I see honeybee here is down north and I try to save her because I'm fast with only in the jungle okay just going here to check on the Milo I see that there is a big team coming south I don't know if you noticed but there was something that they revealed themselves so we need to finish here quickly heal up get our med kits and get ready for the next fight that's their bomb there i just go to check what is in there and i see a jade so since there is a jade and then they had an ollie another jade and a duke my mission was to just eat as much grass as possible because they have the advantage with jungle shoes and this will hopefully give us an edge so it's important to keep dancing around focus with only focus on your bomb that's why cluster is very important it will be your main weapon you can use the spear and the bow to dash around now we have a medkit in the back but most of our teammates are down here so I have to I have to stay around we get honeybee up and she does really well picking up that medkit it was such an intense battle okay they're getting them up and we get a really nice barricade in here as well on that molly check that out That was a good game, a good start with a tough team. Here is another game with Oli and we have a Duke on the squad this time. So we'll, we'll make it a little bit easier. We're playing mostly range characters and the Duke will be able to, to, help, us, to help us with anything that tries to come close to the team. So at the beginning your focus should be getting better weapons, better positioning and uh, just to study the map, wait for the fire and then you can focus where you want to uh, and then you start moving toward the end game and see which place you want to fight. Now keep in, uh, just make sure that you're fighting in a place that is good for your team. Now here we end up, uh, we get sandwiched, we do not move fast enough. We see a team coming from the north and there is a team in the south as well. We are super sandwiched and this nick's behind us so we have to move we have to move fast and get out of that city and get out of there. Milo is down with Steve was able to really get in there and get the defib. So that worked out. We're trying to just keep our distance for now and play the man. We're in a decent position. This team is fighting so just trying to keep some pressure on them so they don't get too comfortable gold bomb that is really good as well as a silver bow and we got medkit back okay so now we see this team trying to go for the medkit and uh, so they're down on medkit we keep the pressure on the medkit and we'll start getting them down they eventually just give up on it Hey, nice stun. Yeah, sometimes it's not worth going for the medkit. 
just retreat instead. Okay, I'm trying to cut them off. I saw that they went south and that's why I went back here. They did kill something so they're going to have a medkit egg pack but we're keeping a lot of pressure on them. They did really well. It was a really good fight. Such an intense battle. But we got lucky with the with that we moved faster, we got out of the fire and that does that gave us the win. Good game. Always a struggle trying to find the last person. Ooh, watch the skill on the Yara. Comment below if you know how it died from one bomb hit. Do you know how that happened? Let me know. There's one last game with Frank this time. Now Frank is more difficult in squads. Frank used to used to be able to carry with Frank, but after the update. His active, uh, it just sucks and not in the right, not in the good way. It's, uh, it's very weak, you can't even pull any guards in. So he lost a lot of, a lot of mobility and uh, you need to just rely on getting on top of something. Plus everyone has holy sandals so even if you pull someone in the water, chances are they're just going to be able to to get out of it. We have an Earl on the team which makes it a little easier Earl plus, plus Frank if they pull something in or if with Frank if you keep something in place long enough they might be able to pull it in. Now we start here I'm, for, I'm trying to go for that shotgun and uh, there is a team waiting for us. So unfortunately we're stuck fighting without a shotgun. Let's see how that goes. Oof, getting stunned. Not good. They have a Duke, I think. They have a Buck, plus a Bruce. So they have, they're have they very tank heavy. But they have a Jade too. They're very tank heavy. And uh, we're not really. We just have uh, Frank. Okay, you see another team coming in. We're on a tough position, so we need to restart. Ooh, one person, two people down. That's unfortunate. Gonna try to keep them alive for a little bit and the two teams are fighting. This is our chance to pick some people up. Ooh, everyone is down. Okay, got Sin up. Oof, nice defib. That was really close. I'm, I wanna go for that Duke and the two teams are fighting. That was the chance for the big team to take us out but they got a little distracted with that small team and the small team did bit some pressure on them finally getting a shotgun when the game is pretty much over. So yeah, no shotgun. It worked out. Comment below which game was your favorite and uh, and don't forget to like, sub and share, enjoy the rest of the game.